Why are there not many songs about banjitars? What do they got to hide? This is my six string banjo. Uh, my wife got this for me a couple years ago for Christmas. She likes to get me unique stringed instruments that don't cost a lot of money. I want to say this is probably maybe 150 bucks. It's uh, you play it just like a guitar, and it's got nice tone to it. Um, it's some kind of forget what name it is R W U something like that. Um, but what I want to do with this today is I feel the action's a little high, especially like right through here. You're really pushing it down like a quarter inch. So I want to see if this neck can get set back a little bit at more of an angle. Um, there's really, I can't go any lower on the bridge. That was my first thing that I did. But it needs new strings, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to see if there's any way I can angle that neck back a little bit. I think it is bolted on, so I was thinking if I unbolt it and put a washer behind it, it might give it a little angle or a wedge. Not really sure. We'll see what it looks like when it gets in there. So I'm going to set you up on the bench, and uh, we'll take the strings off of it. We'll take the back off of it and get into it a little bit deeper. All right, you able to see there? I think first thing we'll take off the strap. Get that out of here. All right, with the strings off of it, you take the back off with these four screws right here. There's one on each corner. But it's a circle, so it doesn't have corners, right? With those four screws off, the back cover comes off. I really don't even need too much in there. I'm almost thinking a washer over this. Let's see how that looks. Alright, get this one here. Is that going to fit over that? No, it's not. That one is going to fit. Let's see what that does to our angle. It's still going to bring it back in there, right? Let's see. Doing that, I'm going to have to bring this out a little bit. So let's loosen this. Let's see if we can bring this out a little bit. this hole here with that. So try another one. There's two two turnies. Still not there. Yeah, 
this thing's fun to play it's got a really unique sound but uh it was really tough to play with the neck being so so high the way it was does give me a good angle but it doesn't draw around the bottom like I want it to. I need to replace this screw here. Something a little deeper. I was thinking does this set the angle of the neck without that? Let's try it again. That works, but I think I need something in there to wedge it. Even a little shim. Just giving me the right amount. So I got some shims in there. I can trim that. I think that's going to work pretty good. I got some shims in there to hold it steady. It's pretty solid. Um, trim these off. While I have the strings off of it, while I have the strings off of it, I want to check it with the drum dial. Um, a drum dial uh, measures tension where you are on your drum, and uh, they usually come. They'll come set from the factory at zero, but you should always check yours. The way to do that is on a clean piece of glass, and it should be zeroed out. And if it's not zeroed, you unlock the bezel and turn it until it is zeroed. So for a banjo, the tension on this should be between, what does it say here, 88 to 89. So somewhere around there. And I always feel like this is real tight anyway. That's 85. You can move it around here, you can see that your tension is equal all the way around uh, and it's 85 at all my points a little higher there way higher there way higher it's getting higher as it comes around here 86 that's the same So yeah, that's dialed in right where I want it to be. I'm not going to do anything else to that. So it could actually be tighter, but I feel like that's pretty tight. So, drum dial is good. So strings on this, I just use regular guitar strings. But uh, you got to take the balls off. <laughs> Well, I was definitely able to get better action on it. Um, the way you adjust it, I'm figuring here, is you loosen this nut, give it more tension, which pushes this screw out up here. Um, and then a larger screw in the back that holds it here. I think the long, I have some shims in here. I think the long-term solution is to cut a shim that's actually the shape of the back of the neck in between there. But it doesn't get played all that much, and it's a cheap instrument. 
and I probably wouldn't be doing this on a higher end instrument. But I did put a beefier screw here because that the thin screws just weren't enough. Um, but this has some weight to it, and it's short. It doesn't. It just about comes to the edge of this hole. But overall, uh, I also did a little bit of. Um, I loosened the truss rod a little bit. It was a little bit tight, and I kind of brought it up. Uh, but I think it sounds okay. I've been playing. Uh, let's see, what's this tune to? I tuned it to Dad Dad, which is like a very droney sound, I guess. Used by like uh, Mike Doty, Ben Howard. Yeah, so I'm going to button that back up, and uh, we'll see how it sounds with the back on it, which the back gives it some resonance. So I got it all back together, got the resonator on there doing its res resonating things. Um, decided to do something a little different with it. The action is really good, for one. But I decided to tune it to a dad-dad tuning, because I'm a dad-dad. Um, it's really droney. It's like Drop D's acoustic cousin. Um, um, I don't think much sounds good <laughs> on this banjo, to be quite honest. But it's something to pick, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think it sounds great on its own. Um, unless you're Kermit the Frog. Steve Martin, maybe. Um, but... Playing behind, if you're fill, if you're doing like a fill-in on acoustic blue bluegrass type country, something like that, I think this sounds really good. And being that it's tuned to a guitar, you're, you know, you've already uh, you already know how to play guitar, right? <laughs> so you can get like a band guitar or a guitar Joe, something like that. And uh, just pick it up right away. Start playing. So that wraps it up. I think uh, I'm going to bring this back to the jam room. Let everybody pick around on it. See how it uh, how it holds up. Um, the neck is really nice. It feels almost like a, a an acoustic. You know, it's it's it's. Uh, it's got a nice a nice feel to it in my hand. Just too bad the action was so high. But anyway, I want to thank you for joining me and uh, give me a thumbs up so I know you like my content and I can bring you some more stuff, more unique instruments like this. And uh, I gotta go take care of the dogs. Sounds like they're fighting. But anyway, thank you for joining me.